What I'll do first is I will create the, I'm going to go ahead and create the puppet version of Captain America. So I have puppet and I'm going to grab all the body parts that I had made and import those. And see, as I render, you can tell it's a little sharper. Um, these images are still very small because I never, I haven't doubled the size yet, um, which is fine. And then I'm going to grab, uh, so I have imported all of those, but I'm going to grab one of his idle stances so that I can align the rest of the body with the idle stances. Um, so I'm just going to uh, separate everything so I can see what I'm doing. Just like that. And I'll take my legs and I want to align my legs to the feet down there. And then grab, uh, and I'm going to rename that legs. And then I'll take my torso and rename that torso. Now I obviously I can tell I can tell that I'm not um, that idle stance I grabbed isn't the right one, so I'll have to get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to. Oh yeah, I did rename that torso. Now this is one of his upper arms or his shoulders, so I'm going to name that shoulder. Actually, I'm going to create a switch layer called shoulder. That way I can switch between the two different shoulders and move the shoulder to where it needs to be. Um, find his other shoulder and move that into the shoulder layer. Call that shoulder two. And uh, and basically, you're going to want to rotate one of them so they uh, so they're both facing the same way and they're easy to put bones on. Then you want to going to create another switch layer for the wrist, and you're going to put both of the wrists into the wrist layer. And you want to make sure you move the images, not the um, okay, so the wrist layer needs to go underneath the shoulder layer. That's pretty obvious from how I created it. I don't really like the way that those go together at all. This one's a lot smoother it looks like this one is going to need to be rotated I don't like that wrist so I'm going to since I like this wrist better I'm just going to leave that one on all right torso that's good this is good and then uh I got these legs here for when he sits down And then I'm going to create a switch layer for the legs. Call one, one will be called sitting and one will be called legs. There we go. I know there's a lot of switch layers here, but, um, oh yeah, I got to save this. Um, I'm going to save it as, um, uh, I'll save it to the desktop for now. I want to save it in that folder, but I, it, uh, there we go. Uh, Henchman episodes. Oops. Episodes. Episode three. That's not the right folder. Oh yeah, it was on my desktop. That's right. There it is. Save it there. Save it as Captain America. And save. Okay. Now I want to create a switch layer for the hands and bring all the hands in 
Bam. All those hands will go into the hands layer. And then I'm going to move the entire hand switch layer over, and that's got to be on top right there. Just like that. Um, now with the hands, you want to make sure that when you flip them, that they flip on the correct axis. So I'll bring that one up, but you want to make sure that when he flips, so that when he puts his arm up, it'll flip on the correct axis. Um, that might take a second to uh, to do. Just gotta make sure all these hands are in the right position. Beautiful. All right. And uh, all right. So now I'm going to do the whole thing I was just talking about. Make sure that they flip. There we go. So these are all going to flip vertically. And uh, and you can see that when that that hand flipped vertically, now it's too far south, too far down. So what I got to do is take this uh, set origin tool, and you want to just move it. So, so it uh, flips in the right place so that when you hit flip rotate it flips just like that alright that's good and if you want you can you can name all these hands this one would be point and then um, you can pick down and then duplicate then um, duplicate the layer and then just switch it so you have point one where it's down and then point two where it's up uh, or you can just go through and whenever you want the hands to rotate the, to flip within the animation, you just hit flip horizontally. For me, I think it's easier just to uh, to duplicate each layer. So I'll call this one fist. Then I'm going to check to make sure it flips on the correct origin, just like that. And then I'm going to duplicate it and flip it. So now that way there's two origins or two uh, varieties. Of all those of every hand, so this is uh, his hand is open or hanging. Set the origin so that it flips in the correct spot. This one's gonna, this one's obviously gonna flip horizontally or something. Um, oh yeah, this one's important. That one flips perfectly as it is. So I'm going to duplicate that one. Oh, that one's. Uh, open and out and then this one I'll flip. I'm only going to do this with the ones that I know I'm going to want to do in that way. Alright, some of them don't always work that way so if that's the case, you just got to realign it yourself like that. And that didn't work, did it? There it goes. Already got a fist. Already got a couple opens. Um, open out. Uh, wait fingers out as well with this so that, that way I know what that is um, duplicate that one just like that alright so now that I have all of those this is where it really comes in handy because you want to make sure you do this before this next step you want to make sure you have all the hands ready before you go through the next step um, the next thing you're gonna do is select all of these layers and just duplicate them one at a time. So you should have a wrist two, shoulder two, and hand two. 
then you're going to want to move those to the very back and then select all the layers they should all be in purple and then grab the move tool and then just move that to the other side so that hand's done now so then the next step is the head 